Hi, I'm Carmen Borganovo, fashion director of My Wardrobe, and welcome to the Autumn Winter 13 My Wardrobe Edit. I'm here to show you the general themes of Autumn Winter. This is one of the most important key trends of AW13, and it's grunge. And this is inspired by Hedy Saman for Saint Laurent, and it's basically about the grunge girl. Think Courtney Love. It's about leather, plaid, rock and roll, grunge, anything dark and hard and a little bit sexy. So here we have a couple of great pieces. This is Bash. Now this you would wear with a leather trouser, a leather skirt, and then you wear it with combat boots and that's your grunge look. Here we have a slip from Miriam Kirchhoff, who is one of our London designers. And basically, as we know, during the grunge era, Courtney Love made the slip fashionable. You put a t-shirt underneath, a leather jacket, and combat boots, and there you have your perfect grunge outfit. So of course, for grunge, a grunge girl wears a lot of leather. So this is a key trend for fall, and a perfect way to channel this trend is to buy into a great leather piece. This is a black denim, and this is the perfect leather vest. It's great for layering, it'll go underneath a coat, over a coat, and actually it's a classic. It's a type of piece that you'll keep forever in your wardrobe. Another key trend is monochrome, which is very important last season, and for winter it's come back strong and it looks very sleek, minimal, and sophisticated. The key pieces for monochrome are tweed, houndstooth, and stripes. This is an incredible piece by Mother of Pearl, another London designer, and it's a striped skirt with a peplum. This is both feminine but also minimal and very easy to wear. You just wear it with a t-shirt and you're ready to go. You can wear it with bands or you can wear it with high heels and make it look a little bit more feminine. Here we have a great trouser from Joseph, and this is black and white, but to me it gives me a little bit 70s rock and roll. It depends on how you want to style it. You could put it with a cropped leather jacket and it'll look really chic. One of the most important trends of the season was the oversized menswear coat. And this black and white houndstooth style is perfect for the season and a great investment. Now this is one of my favorite trends of the season. It's colorful, it's rich, and it's beautiful, and it's winter florals. Here we have a beautiful look by one of our new London designers, Oswald Helgelsen. And this is just a beautiful combination of prints. I love the black and blue combination, which is also a trend this season. It's taking florals and making it really modern. Another trend for floral is the bohemian folklore look. And this to me is a perfect dress. You slip it on, it's very Yves Saint Laurent 1970s. And again, it's a look that you can keep season after season. I think this is very timeless, so it's a great investment. And this is from the designer Raoul. This is by British designer Hermione de Paula, and what I love about her prints is that there's a darkness to them. When you first look at it, you think, oh, look how beautiful, how feminine. But then when you go into the designs, you realize she's created a fantastical world within the prints, which makes it really special. Animal print is a perennial classic for fall, and this season I want to show you some exclusives that we have for my wardrobe. This is Elena Ghiselini. She's a pre-fall exclusive for My Wardrobe, and she is a designer of Givenchy. She does these beautiful structured bags. This is one of my favorites. And this is CB Made in Italy, and I worked together with a designer, Cecilia, to make four exclusive styles for us. I love this leopard print because it takes something really simple and makes it really fun to wear. One of my biggest passions is jewelry, and this season we worked on creating a strong, curated edit of jewelry for My Wardrobe. Here are some of my favorite designers. We have Eddie Borgo, and as you know, he's been known to do a lot of punk, a lot of spikes, and this season he was actually inspired by Cleopatra. So you see these beautiful shapes and organic stones. Another designer that I love is Silvia Toledano. She is an Italian designer, and what I love, she has a Baroque quality to her jewelry, and these are all semi-precious stones. This is New York-based Scandi designer Lomo, and I love these pieces because of their minimalist look. And what's special about them is you can actually stack them on a finger, like this, or wear them separately. And they're the type of pieces that you'll wear every day. Now, if you're really into shine and a little bit of bling, this is an exclusive piece that we designed with Anton Hunis. It's a little bit Egyptian, Egyptian inspired as well. And these are just bold statement earrings. And here we have the matching necklace.